Tired of complex setups and expensive hosting for your Superbase backend? What if you could self-host it securely without DevOps headaches in just minutes? Hey there, I'm Kunal Naik, AI agent strategist for small and medium businesses and working professionals. I help you build and deploy AI agents that drive automation, results, and scale without needing a big tech team. With over 15 years of experience in data science and automations, I've helped over 5,000 plus people level up their systems and careers. In this video, I'll walk you through how to self-host Superbase using Cloudbean, a powerful yet simple to get your backend up and running fast in the AI agent world. Now, why use Cloudbean? It's self-hosted and it's fully secure, set up in minutes, zero DevOps drama, perfect for powering AI agents with SQL and VectorDB that to Postgres SQL. Flexible and scalable for real business use cases. Whether you're storing agent memory, user data or embeddings, this setup has you covered. Let's jump in and I'll show you how to deploy your Superbase instance using Cloudbean step by step. Okay, so let's get started. We'll start with Cloudbean. You can go to cloudbean.com, go and create your account get started it's very easy they have a three-day trial period so if you want it you can straight away get into it i've already created my account so i'm going to go into it log into the account you will see this kind of interface here and you can see i have so many different applications manage applications free static uh, website hosting uh, s3 objects uh, ai and uh, tools and i have my superbase uh, my n8n langflow all of this are basically hosted on this platform but i'm going to start with how you can host your own uh, super base so first of all you need to definitely start with uh, add server right so you're going to go to this particular place right you can see servers you can just say add server now you can select linode vulture uh, amazon uh, web services amazon light sales uh, gcp upcloud digitalocean they have it all all you have to do is then select the application that you want here. So you can just select Superbase, uh, but I'm going to show you another step of doing it also uh, from this, uh, from without this particular set setup at all. But yeah, you can just basically select all the, whichever cloud you want. You can select the location that you want. I'm going to maybe select Chennai or Mumbai because I'm in India. And then you can give an application name and uh, have a server name also given. Now you can also choose your server size. You can select the standard, right? Uh, I typically go with 4 GB at least for the Superbase. And um, I have this one. I can also go up to 18 in case you're thinking of taking some vector DB and building AI agentic uh, applications here, right? So uh, you can switch between this. Definitely start with the 4 GB one, right? So that's roughly around 4,000 bucks and 4000 you can convert it it will some somewhere cover around 40 50 dollars uh, that's what it will be okay so anyways you set up this one um server and you can just say launch uh, launch here and um, yeah, let me select the application name you have to select the application name so i'm going to select that one and give uh, give super base and if you can see i can click on launch right and uh, it's going to basically uh, uh, get you to this place you can make the payment and you can get started with it i'm not going to do that here uh, you can continue to do that yourself but yeah that's how you quickly get started now once the server will be uh, up you can see here i have my server already up if i click on the server there are a few ai and a few websites so different applications are available and you can see them under apps here so you see that uh, i have a Vue.js and a uh, DSM website. I can also uh, look at the tools that I have, which is DSM, Superbase, and Langflow. Now, what will also what it will also do is uh, it will very easily set up your Superbase account uh, database. But you can, if you have multiple clients, right? So this is one Superbase uh, that I have hosted. I can click on this, and you can see there are some of my details available here. Um, you can have your uh, IP address, username, password, database access, username and password, all of that will be available, which you can use uh, to connect with your NA10 AI agentic applications that you want here. And yes, obviously you can replace it with uh, different domain alias uh, aliases here. You can add your own personal domain, uh, SSL certificate, backups, and all that is uh, pretty easy, easily doable within Postgres. And you can easily log in 
to the application also like this where uh, you will have your username and your password here you can just sign in and within a click you will be having your entire uh, superbase uh, database hosted ready to go and uh, working most uh, importantly working with the speed that you need to work okay and in case you don't you have other applications you want to add another superbase uh, uh, account for maybe another customer of yours you can just say add tool again you can go here uh, select superbase and then add it to the server say add tool and within just one click you can have your entire uh, another instance of superbase set up uh, very very quickly uh, again it is not as the experience that you have with the superbase uh, from the superbase itself but uh, close enough uh, but much more fast and effective and in your control okay so now we have this uh, so superbase database um, now there are, there are some integrations that you need to do or uh, you need to have the credentials to work with na10 workflow so basically there are two types of workflows that you can work with uh, uh, one is one is the data api and uh, the other part of it is basically the um, details where you uh, call through apis right so i'm just going to give you an analogy here right so I'll, i'm going to go into my superbase account let me go to the dashboard if you and i'm talking about uh, the project settings here that we have uh, within superbase right so uh, doing it on cloudburn you just have to get used to where you can find these details typically you can go to project settings and um, you, you can go to project settings and then you can just say connect here and you will find all the details here right so i have to restart my project it's, uh, it's not yet started but you click the connect details and you will see that those details that you require uh, that is the, the ip address username password database access all of that will be available by clicking on this connect button the so same information is available here and then we have the api access which is basically if you go here uh, you should see a data API access here. You can click on that and uh, for those for that details you can just go into API docs go here and uh, probably go to you know on public or go to service roles secrets and maybe authentication and you will see your uh, client ID, uh, client API and secret, right? So I will have this hidden. You will not be able to see it, but you will have all the details uh, available here that you can use uh, within your N8 and workflows or any other uh, or Langflow, uh, Langflow workflows. So yeah, that's how you can um, basically self, uh, so that's how you can self host um, uh, Superbase on Cloud Bean. Uh, you will have your uh, your, your, you can have your normal documents like uh, the embeddings database or you can have your chat histories if you're working with NA10 and they're all perfectly available here for uh, for access and ready to go. So uh, that's how you, uh, you know, get Superbase uh, through Cloudbean quickly and without having, having to worry about the subscriptions, number of projects, the tierings, that you have and pulling and all that this is all available for you uh, at at the at how much ever you want it you can pause it unpause it uh, at the time you, uh, however you want it and it will be completely available and the best part of cloud bean is that uh, you will definitely have a completely um, you know uh, having this this 5000 in additional value of devops uh, available for you the team is really really good they respond to you. you all you need to do here go and uh, chat with them and they will help you with anything that you need so you it's like you having a you know devops or you have this um, devsecops team uh, back uh, available for you all the time to help you and you just focus on building your own applications and that's it your super base is now live on cloud bean want to try it yourself click the link in the description deploy your super base in minutes and power your ai agent workflows with sql and vector db securely and without any complexity also if you want to create your first ai agent i'm going to leave a free masterclass link where you can click on the link register on the masterclass and join me live in creating one of your first ai agents
So I'll see you either in the masterclass or running your own super base instance on Cloud Bean.